We've just concluded uh, Lionfish 2, another successful operation. We've done it in partnership with Optrish, uh, the Caribbean Customs Law Enforcement Council, World's Customs Organisation and Europol. And the whole operation was made possible, obviously, by the Ministry of Interior, French Ministry of Interior. The operation was very successful. Obviously, you've seen that we had multiple tonnes of narcotics seized, uh, numerous arrests, all made possible by the 27 participating countries. It's an extraordinary effort from them. They had their own national plans, and after a, few, after a series of meetings with them, we came up with an overall plan for Lionfish 2. So really, the success is really because of their, their efforts and the front line and each of those border crossings and land crossings in the central South American Caribbean Basin. Now the reason we did this operation is it falls under our Fort Laser framework, focusing on organised crime and the movement of narcotics through the Caribbean Basin up to the Americas, Europe and even on to Australia. So we're supporting these member of our countries to work collectively to make the region more retarded to organised crime and what we've seen here is numerous countries have worked a similar fashion to last year, work together for a common interest, and that's to interdict the movement of narcotics and people and organised crime and disrupt it. So a wonderful effort, and I thank those 27 member countries and obviously our partners for being involved, and I think uh, it's been a very successful operation.